Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to use the AI portrait mode in uh, Corel Paint Shop Pro 2023. Uh, this feature is uh, to actually get a bouquet or blurry background or, or a simulated one and it's actually as far as the different uh, editing programs for photos it actually uh, is one of the better ones that I've seen for uh, doing this effect because it gives you a lot of uh, choices and it gives you a lot of um, uh, ways to adjust it. So let's let's take a look at this uh, really quick. So we're going to go up here to adjust. This is um, if you go down here first off. Uh, Corel has workspaces, and this is set to the complete uh, workspace. So there's a photography one, an essential ones, and a complete. The essentials and the photography one are a reduced kind of interface. So you really want to be on the um, complete for this. Uh, and it gives you all of the options in here. So we go up to adjust. And it's a little bit hidden. It's under artificial intelligence. Uh, and there are two modes. There's AI portrait mode. Well, there are a couple of modes here. But for portraits, basically, there's AI portrait mode and AI background replacement. Background replacement will replace the entire background. But the one we're interested in today is AI portrait mode. So we're going to go here. It's going to bring up an interface uh, that will help us adjust uh, things. All right, so here it is. So it creates a, a default mask uh, for us, uh, which is really nice. And we'll go over, I'm going to come back to this. I want to show you how it works first. We're going to just use the default mask right here. But all of these things on the side help you uh, adjust uh, and fine tune the masking on this. this. This masking is actually really good. Uh, w remember, we're going to blur the background. So there's a little bit of an edge that it leaves around here. Um, around the uh, subject's head and such, uh, and but we can tighten that up or loosen that up, you know, make it a little more of a border or less of the border using these functions right here. Uh, but it's done a pretty good job here, so let's just take a look at how it works just kind of by default, and then we'll go back. So if I go to next, it gives me a comparison of two photos, and by default, it kind of it blurred the background to a certain amount uh, and uh, so this is the original and this is the one with the blurred background now there there's um, different functions on here so we can adjust the amount of blur and a lot of times it's best to start out with less blur and maybe increase or you could go all the way up if you wanted to and pull it back but let's go all the way up for now just to exaggerate things and it takes a minute for it to um, adjust and um, you can see it's much more blurry in the background now uh, typically when you use an effect like this to blur the background you don't want to go to the to the extreme you want the um, uh, blur to be m more subtle the, the more extreme you make it, uh, the more strange it looks, the more artificial it looks. So that's one thing to keep in effect. But you can see right here when we blur it extremely, there's an area here. It, it, it just tries to blur out um, an area farther out and closer into the subject. It makes it less uh, blurry. But we can adjust that. There's a feathering edge. Let's see what that does. It takes a minute for it to uh, adjust. So we can go all the way up to feather it out some, or we can turn the feathering off. And it brings it in a little bit closer. There we go. So when we, f when we put the feathering at zero, it brings it up very close uh, to the subject. So pretty much everything's blurred. There's, there's no feathering at this. Uh, we can adjust the focus range. 
So let's turn it all the way down. Let me turn it all the way up. And so you can mess with these and let's see if I can get it just And you can see that the, the focus ring kind of adjusts that as well. We're going to just leave this in the middle. Uh, and I'm going to uh, turn the feathering down. And let's move it all the way so it just goes all the way. So this is if you want it like an extreme blurred background. So if you want it really more blurred, maybe you want to start... You can start at either end, either work it your way up from less blurry to more blurry or very blurry to less. So if you wanted a more blurry background, you probably really want to turn the feathering off in that case. And then you would just move back slowly, wait for it to adjust. And it's using AI and it's actually, it, it, it's actually a v very good tool. So remember, it takes a little while. So just kind of move it and wait and see how it changes. See how it just changes. It takes a little, a little bit to change it. And so you can make it um, much more uh, subtle there. Or you could go all the way from uh, zero back here so this is, looks normal again there's no blur on it you could slowly move it up and give it a second to do its calculations and so you see you have a lot of control over uh, having a bouquet or a blurry background in this the other thing that's, that's uh, very interesting and a, a very nice feature is when you have lights, like little tiny lights in the background, uh, there, there's not any in this picture, so it won't really show up on here very well. Uh, some lenses have more of a round uh, bouquet, and that's more when bouquet is like a bl when the background blurs, but also it's when you have lights in a background in, or the, the little round dots of light or whatever and sometimes they show up as like a more of a hexagon or more of a circle depending on the lens you have and what its aperture is like so so you can have it circular uh, aperture shape or hex hexagonal aperture shape so you can vary that as well and that will vary it somewhat in here but you, you would see it more if there were points of light on that so so you have all of those uh, um, uh, all of those features on here now let's go back real quick and you see all of these things here first of all up here is you can adjust the brush size and the brush mode if you need to do some uh, touch-ups on this picture it's done very good so we don't really don't need to do any touch-up but you can uh, feather an area if you want it feathered a little more you can also add and subtract an area from the mask here and you can refine it and such so you can use this brush mode to kind of go in and manually uh, work with a mask if you need to or want to uh, we can kind of smooth the mask and we can feather the mask uh, as well and uh, here's one that's kind of important we can move the border so as you can see here it it, it moves the border farther away uh, so you, you can get farther away or closer up to the subject so if we pull it all the way down here it's pretty much at the closest range it will get and uh, we can decrease the border here and you can see it goes kind of into the subject here so in a case like this you might uh, go to subtract and and use the brush to pull this out actually I guess it's 
kind of it's kind of reverse it's add to get rid of this mask so i guess it's, it's not adding to the mask it's adding to the area where there is no mask so it's opposite right there uh so you can see how we can touch that up and uh once again you probably want to exp expand the border to the point where it's not infringing on the person or if you wanted like the edge of their ear a little bit out of focus you can actually bring it in so they will, will, will kind of come into the edge of their head but you generally you want that out so you want to judge it you want to adjust it so it doesn't blur part of the subject because what happens is uh, unless you do it very slightly you don't want to blur part of the subject uh, because it will look more artificial generally so these are uh, features you can uh, mess around with you can also reset it if you you messed it up uh, and uh, these are areas you can adjust in on different focus or on different pictures it, it will it, it will um, it will just the area where where the background is blurring so you have a lot of um, flexibility on this interface i'm dean and this has been photo blue and i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe share and like